is now on Destroido land, and Destroido has no interest in stopping it, which means that the sheriff can't investigate. Why not? Destroido declared corporate sovereignty, so the only legal authority they follow is their own. They don't pay taxes, and they don't have to listen to the sheriff. Like, you want us to do this with no help at all from the law? We're in. Moon beautiful tonight? It seems so big. Yeah. Remember when we used to stare at the moon until our corneas were burned? What did those doctors who fixed us call it? Moon blindness. Sure was romantic. Fred, I have something to tell you. I... Daphne! Thelma! Analysis! Chinkies! It's lithium. Is that what Destroido is like mining? Probably. Lithium is very toxic. Which explains the destruction. Frankie, look! A Destroido security badge. Someone must have dropped this. Looks like we have an all-access pass to the Destroido Labs. Um, I quote like the, the, the Three Little Pigs demo, um, and uh, if our uh, and we'll have this, we're bring, bringing out the, the pigs. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, this is, a, this is a high energy pig. Um, all right, Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um, so what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. ...is living among us. It's only science fiction for right now. Yesterday, the Senate passed the Endless Frontier Act, a bill that commits nearly $250 billion to promote emerging technologies so that America can keep pace with Chinese innovation. Back in May, Democrats shot down an important amendment outlawing U.S. participation in research that would create human-animal hybrids, also known as chimeras. China is already doing it, announcing in April that an international team successfully grew human monkey embryos and sustained them for 20 days in a lab. The only question is, what will they do next? You're not fooling me, cause I can see Something's been bugging me about our little underwater escapade. There's a lot about that adventure I wish we could forget. Amen to that. But the weirdest part of all was what the late Abigail Gluck whispered. Like I'll say, a crazy mummified corpse whispering to Biru is creepy times ten. It gets creepier. I googled it and found a lot. Namely this. Nibiru is a planet listed in the writings of Zachariah Sitchin, particularly his book The Twelfth Planet. 
According to Sitchin's interpretation of Babylonian religious texts, a giant planet called Nibiru passes by Earth every 3,600 years and allows its sentient inhabitants to interact with humanity. These beings, which Sitchin identified with the Anunnaki of Sumerian myth, would become humanity's first gods. They come from a star, as one of the belt stars, as seen here from the southern hemisphere. It's on this one here, and it's Al Nitak. That's the star where they come from. These beings are so beautiful, so angelic looking, and so incredibly evil. You can come across the reptilians, and these were all reptilians. These beings have evolved. They have changed physical containers. They no longer look reptilian. But when you have the ability to see properly, when you can see properly, you see through the facade, they are not what they seem. And they have this ability to connect with you mentally, telepathically. Telep telepathy is mental, right? The fourth dimension, is the mental dimension. Uh, our governments have been in contact with these beings for a very long time. They like to build their underground bases, they get told to build their underground bases, they have a base on Mars, upwards of half a million Earth people living there already. Now you hear the people talking about the Greys, well they are all in collaboration even though they're factional and they fight and do all this sort of stuff, they all belong to this one big empire which spans the top, starts here and goes all the way down. And that is what we call on the planet the Galactic Federation of Light. They have amassed a great empire. At the top of that empire there's two beings that run the whole show. They are both originally, and still are at the core, crocodilian reptilians. My favorite internet encyclopedia says there's supposed to be a collision. The Nibiru collision is a disastrous encounter between the Earth and a large planetary object. <laughs> Believers in this doomsday event usually refer to this object as Planet X, or Nibiru. The, 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 the doomsday event? I see you. Pretending you got a sliver. But you're not fooling me. Cause I can see. Keep eating my little love muffin. I'll get it. All right, all right. Hold your horses. Robots. I hate nightmares. Nibiru. Nibiru is coming. No, no, God. <laughs>
zipping room. Gooby doo. Look at this. Scooby Doo, your time has come. She is here. Nova? I am not Nova. I have only borrowed her body so that I may bring you an urgent message. Scooby Doo, your life is in danger. Huh? I am of the Anunnaki. Interdimensional beings that visit the planet Earth every few thousand years. We arrive at a time called Nibiru, when the barriers between our worlds grow weak. The Anunnaki have a great history of helping humans, but we have no physical form and must inhabit animals. Unclean spirit! Show it up your ass! In the name of our it. Lord Jesus Christ! It is he who commands you! He who flung you! Heights of heaven to the depths of hell! Fuck him! Be gone! Fuck him, Garrus! From Fuck this him. creature of God! Be gone! In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit! By this sign of the Holy Cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Damien! Amen. This is why some animals, our descendants, can talk and others cannot. But not all Anunnaki are kind and good. There are evil ones, and the most evil one of all is imprisoned beneath Crystal Cove and must not be set free. You must undo it, Scooby-Doo. Undo it all. Save yourself. Save your friends. Save the... ...world. The cursed treasure is evil. Evil. We have to destroy it. Where are you? We got some work to do now. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We need some help from you now. Come on, Scooby Doo, I see you. Pretending you got a sliver, but you're not moving.